The Cuban government used heavy-handed tactics, to say the least, to stifle protests right across the island yesterday. Police vehicles, you can see them uh, throughout the uh, island patrolling the streets, and activists reporting that groups of government supporters blocked protest organizers inside their homes. But there were still acts of dissent, many of them, like this simple clap by an activist dressed in all white broadcast to the world. And there were solidarity protests for the freedom of Cuba across the globe, including here in the U.S. and places like Miami and Las Vegas. Take a look at that. Mexico City, Argentina, Chile. Joining me now is Jason Canela, Cuban-American actor and activist who was in Las Vegas for the protest. Jason, always a pleasure to see you, my friend. I want to talk about the power of this moment with so many protests around the globe. How do you see that power? Brother, uh, first off, thank you for having me. Uh, thank you for shining a light on this. I know that it, it means a lot to you as well as myself and, and so many other people that we know. I think that this is so powerful what we are doing uh, so that the people of Cuba can can know that we're listening. You know, uh, people, they, they don't realize that these videos that are circulating the Internet in some way, shape or form, they do end up getting to the people of Cuba. And what the people of Cuba need is is courage. They got to continue going to the streets. They have to continue. And sadly, you know, I know that we all wish we could do more, but right now what we need to do to continue to give them strength is us go out to the streets. Jason, what does it mean that the Cuban government, since July 11th, has been doing everything, and I mean everything, to stifle what was going to happen on the 15th of November. They were successful for the most part. What, what going forward do the people of Cuba have to be able to ask for freedom? You know, it's so important to realize what a victory July 11th was for the Cuban people and what a victory the 15th of November was for the Cuban people. Because when you, when you sit back and you realize that the people, the 200,000 plus people who took to the streets on July 11th are people who were born in this system. They are people who have no idea what freedom is. They only know the communist regime. And so the communist regime has a major problem on their hands. The fact that over 200,000 people who have been indoctrinated to idolize Castro and the communist regime, the fact that they are the ones that took to the streets and said, enough, we don't want this. This has to end. They weren't talking about vaccines. They weren't talking about COVID. They are talking about the illegitimate communist party that has been in power for 60 plus years. Now, the fact that the communist regime has done everything in their power to stifle the people of Cuba and stop them in their tracks, and that three months later they are out on the street again protesting for their freedom is a major problem for the communist regime, and it's a huge victory for the Cuban people. I really believe that they are going to continue to hit the streets. They are going to continue to get locked up, but they're not going to stop. They're not tired, and they are. They're, they're, as a matter of fact, they are tired. They are sick and tired of that regime, and it needs to come to an end. Jason Canela, thank you for being with me this morning. Appreciate it.